So now in this video we're going to look at the uh, 7432 integrated circuit. Actually I'm using the 74HC32, the high speed CMOS version. But in any case, it has uh, four OR gates. We'll talk about that in more detail coming up. So now, uh, if we leave one uh, floating, there you can see the output is actually alternating high and low. But if we make uh, one of the inputs high, then the output is high. We'll go back to both of them being low. If we make the other one high, then the output's low. So even with the trim pot, we set the voltage about halfway. You can see that it's uh, oscillating there. So uh, I'll put that back high though. So we tried out three states there. Now we'll go to the fourth one where they're both high and the output is high. Uh, basic OR gate rules. So now when you look up the uh, component, I always check the data sheet. On the data sheet, you'll see that it's a quad two input OR gate right there. Uh, so we got four OR gates. You gotta power it though, positive supply. Uh, to pin 14 and negative ply to 7. We have the inputs for the OR gates we are not using. We tie to one supply voltage or the other. I got a bunch of these yellow jumpers so I just used yellow for positive for them. We can leave the outputs floating though. That's no problem. And here is the uh, basic schematic. So when you see an OR gate uh, symbol like this, usually they think you're going to use an OR gate from an integrated circuit like this, uh, but we're using the top left one. So in any case, we got A there, that jumper. I just moved it manually. We could use a push button switch, but in any case with it low and the trim pod down lower, then we had a low output. It uh, was connected to ground, which it does pretty good. So the blue LED lit up. And then if we moved uh, one or the other or both uh, positive enough, then we had a high output. So that was five volts uh, coming out, the red LED lit up. So it actually probably did not provide five volts. I haven't measured it, but usually these integrated circuits lose about one volt, probably about four volts, but it was still enough to power the red LED. And of course, if you're ever unfamiliar with the logic gate, check out its truth table. So zero means off or low. There's all kinds of definitions, zero volts. So if everything is low, then we have a low output. But if we have uh, one input, or the other, however many inputs we have, as long as one of them is high, the output will be high. And if all of them are high, then the output will be high. Basic OR gate rules. 